Hey guys, this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. Tonight I'm going to talk about uh, my smart home tablet setup that I have. I use smart things as my hub for my home and then I have um, lots of Z-Way, a few Zigbee and a few Wi-Fi devices, uh, but smart thing connects them all. And then I have connected home alarm system, so that's like a kind of a DIY um, setup where you can leverage existing um, hardwired home uh, alarm systems and then um, you can connect it to a connected board and you can run that either as a standalone or kind of connect it back into smart things and use that for your home automation so I'll kind of touch how I use that here and then this setup itself this tablet is a Amazon Fire tablet that I bought uh, refurbished I think it was like 30 bucks uh, for each of them I have two of them one down here and one up there and you know when I bought this house it had a I think it was ADT or one of the other major um, you know monitored home alarm systems I didn't want uh, that for lots of reasons one I wanted to tie it into my smart home which they now have gotten into that business but anyways this is where the um, alarm panel used to be and so I had wiring uh, in the wall here that went down to uh, where the main alarm um, you know brains are and so I leveraged that wiring to send 12 volt power from the connected boards up to here and then there's actually a um, a uh, 12 volt to 5 volt converter and then a USB um, uh, cord and it has a very tight um, connection in here to the tablet. So this is actually a 3D printed uh, case and there's a couple of them. You can look them on online. I, I did not print it out myself. I did purchase it. Uh, at the time but obviously if you have a 3d printer uh, you can make one yourself and then um, after you get your Amazon Fire tablet you do have to install a couple devices or apps on it um, like fully kiosk browser uh, which really is um, just a way to get a website as a full screen uh, layout and to auto load um, on startup and whatnot and then um, I use action tiles which is a service and it is paid um, where you have to buy a license for your location and then um, and that allows you to customize the layout so the smart things app uh, they went through a change here when they went from the classic app to the new app and a lot of people don't like it including myself really with especially the layout of it um, it's very hard to go in there and find um, what you want to quickly use it um, and where action tiles is really cool is you can customize all of it. So all of this layout um, was done by me and other people have fancier designs. Mine's kind of simple, just a gray background. And then whenever something's on, like a light switch, um, it's, it's yellow. And then some of these devices, like I have um, water leak sensors and mouse traps. So yes, that's a, um, a smart mouse trap that uh, there's a, they're actually Z-Wave. So when it catches a mouse, it actually, um, tells me sends me a message but um, the leak sensors and the mouse traps they turn red um, whenever um, they get tripped and so that you know the idea is that it catches your eye a little bit better and then at the top here um, we have the alarm state so right now it's disarmed um, stay and then armed away and uh, armed away would be red and then the state would be a yellow um, like this and then the other thing I have here is um, my routine. So I'll get into those in a minute. But then I just have the, the day and time. And then I set up a weather um, radar. And you can click on it, actually, and make it bigger. And so this is actually a different website um, that you know it's pulling the data from and just displaying it as, as a GIF. And then I have my forecast. And then I scroll down. You know I have um, my different uh, thermostats. So I have, um, three of them in the house, one for each level, and then I have one in the barn. And then we have uh, different lights and, um, and and stuff here. And, you know, you can kind of play with it as I've done with some different icons, uh, which are kind of fun um, to play with. But so, you know, really, I don't use it for, um, like, turning on the lights, really. I mean, I, I can do that. Like, I, I can hit the kitchen lights here on this um, tablet. And then these six lights will go off. Okay, and then I could also um, kick it on, and then I can hit the three dots 
here and then I can actually change the dimmer so I can go down to like let's say 50% here and I guess it's hard for you to see both of them but I just went back to full bright so you know I, I can change the um, the dimmer and settings there and you know I can actually change things like the um, the thermostat you know I can change the heat up and down if I wanted to but um, like I said most of the time I have I have automations that I try to capture a lot of those things um, as like a single button so like the lights on the house are the um, Ecobee thermostat you know all that stuff is kind of set up and I, I won't go into all that in detail here uh, but what I will say I do here is um, kind of my four main routines that I use the tablets for which is good morning good night away and home and I actually don't use the home um, hardly ever because I have it on geo uh, fencing where uh, when myself or the wife get close it automatically will um, activate the home routine for me but um, to give you an example of kind of how I do use it um, as I mentioned I, I have some items turn red so I'll just look at it to make sure uh, nothing's kind of out of whack and I don't have any alerts that are red items and I'll, I like to look at the weather um, forecast for the day um, but when I wake up um, you know I'll hit good morning um, for right now since I have uh, a lot of these lights on including my uh, TV what I'll do is I'll show you what happens um, I'll typically hit good night routine and that will start to turn off all these lights which I should probably I'll turn one on so you can still see me at least but um, you'll see it does have a little bit of delay when it has to turn off lots of lights but uh, you saw it turn off the TV far away on the other side of the house there's a um, Christmas tree that it turned off and then um, now it's going through and turning off um, all these lights here for the uh, the kitchen as well so um, the other thing it does when I do that is it changes the mode to um, to night mode and when it goes to night mode it um, it sets up another routine where I have motion sensors in the house that are on the connected alarm panel and with those tied back in oh, so you heard that noise that was actually this door uh, locking so part of that um, good night routine I have is it checks to make sure the doors are locked uh, so I intentionally left that one unlocked to, to show you that it, it goes and actually locks doors at night uh, if I forget to do that and then you can see here so all the all the lights are off um, it goes to stay uh, you can see some delays like that garage entry um, lock is still showing the unlocked uh, I've had some issues with that being delayed it might take several minutes for it to finally show up that it, it did lock but um, so then as I was mentioning about the modes now I have I have a, um, a motion sensor right up here I'm trying not not to trip it just yet but um, and then I have other ones in the house and when I'm in night mode I have two daughters and um, most recently the youngest ones is almost two now but we will wake up in the middle of the night to, to feed her and change her diaper when she's little and obviously you're tired sleep deprived and the last thing I want to do is mess with light switches I also didn't want to blast on if I, if I click the light on uh, for example the kitchen lights they will go to full brightness where they were before so I wanted some way to uh, have a dim light um, but also that I didn't have to worry about clicking on so there's a motion sensor up there so as soon as I come out of the master bedroom it also detects you and what I have it do uh, so I'll trip it here now so there the little red light came on and you'll see what happens is the kitchen lights come on I forget what the setting is but like 15% or 20% you'll see up there the catwalk lights also come on and then far um, over there is the den lights and they kick on at a very low setting as well and so that's done automatically when it detects motion and then they stay on for 25 minutes which I I found was enough time um, for me to change a diaper uh, and, and feed her if, if I'm doing that before some more motion gets detected but then I go to sleep and um, and then uh, they'll automatically turn back off so I thought that was kind of a, a neat, neat example that you could use where I, I use my connected um, alarm panels and then smart things in my smart lights all together to kind of help make something easier at night. Is it needed? No, but 
um, that's kind of why I bought the, sm the smart home stuff is it's kind of neat things to play with okay so then the next thing uh, is in the morning now uh, I would go and hit uh, good morning and so when I hit good morning it um, you can see kicking on these lights on so it keeps turning off my my light for the video camera but um, you also heard a beep that's my phone so that's my phone uh, have it tell me that hey you you know you disarmed the alarm and now it's activated good morning that's just a confirmation that I know it happened um, so you see the kitchen lights turned on I have the dim lights so this is our our standard lighting for the morning uh, to get everyone ready get them out out the door and then it also um, disarmed the alarm so um, then I'll show you the away. So now for the away, it uh, press the away button. You can see the arm state goes to away. I gotta make sure I don't uh, wake up the kiddos by tripping this motion sensor. So um, that goes to away and then it will start to turn off all the lights. Okay, um, well, so that's all activated. You can see it's alarm. The house is dark you probably can't see me but um, now I hit the home button is I get this um, keypad that comes up and that keypad is obviously for my uh, code to type in so all right so I obviously hid the uh, the code but uh, you'll see now what it does when I do home all I tell it to do actually is just do this um, the kitchen light and um, obviously it disarms the alarm oh so um, I, I should have showed you that but it, it just went um, it went black and then I touched it to wake it up so with this um, the fully kiosk system can um, basically keep the tablet awake so that it doesn't go to sleep. One of the downsides to the cheap Amazon, well there's lots of downsides to these cheap Amazon tablets. One, they're slow um, and like their touch sensitivity is not nearly as good as you know a better tablet. But for the price you really can't complain that much. But um, you know they have ads on them if you don't pay extra money to get rid of the ads. So if you keep it awake um, then the ads never show up because they only come on on the, um, the wake up screen. So these have a camera built in and you can set it up so that if it detects motion it will light up the problem is here in this hallway with it being dark um, it normally actually has a problem detecting my motion because it's too dark um, so it was really inconsistent so if you're in a light um, a brighter area then that that might work well for you but so for me I have it just go to sleep and that basically um, you know turns off the um, the display itself but it's still keeping it awake like the backlight's still there actually it's just um, the screen's black and then I just touch it and that wakes it up so that's that's how I use it but um, you know you can you can set it up with the uh, the motion as well so one other quick note is action tiles lets you make as many panels they call these panels as you want and you can actually link them together so I actually have like a cameras um, button here and that's actually just a link to a new panel where my cameras have a live feed uh, to them. Um, and then, but they also let you make them a different panel for different formats. So you can change the size of these buttons. You know, all of mine are one by one, but you can make them two by. Or actually, I do have some two by ones. You know, these HVAC and the time ones are are two by ones, but you can make them uh, four by four. You I mean you can make them bigger. But I have a different one for my phone, so. For my phone, it's the same thing. Remember, you know, Action Tiles is basically just a website. Um, but so I have the phone one. You know, I don't have like the radar and stuff on there uh, because I, you know, I'm using this for uh, a quick, um, you know, tap of a routine or turn a light or, uh, on or off. Um, so I, I've been happy with Action Tiles. It's um, it's really worked with all smart things. <laughs> There's definitely some pros and cons to it. Um, you really can't complain for the cost, which is just the um, the cost of the hub back at the time. It, it's impressive how many things it integrates all together. Um, but um, you know they're they're kind of they're moving away from the hardware and now they're just doing the software side of support. So we'll see how it goes. But I've really been happy with um, 
the tablet itself and how much you can configure that's the, the kind of the best thing about it is that you can set it up however you want and then I've also been very happy with the connected alarm panel that's um, that's been working really well it's been robust and uh, it's way more affordable than a, um, a monthly subscription fee especially if you want to tie in some of these smart features like cameras like you know you can use cameras for motion detection um, it can use any of your other sensors um, and then you can also activate lights and whatnot so um, really cool setup and maybe I'll make some more videos going through details of exactly how I, uh, I have my smart home set up. Okay, well, if you have any questions uh, about this, feel free to ask them in the comments and I will try to answer them. But I hope you enjoyed this and, you know, if you do like it, uh, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and you'll see some more videos I make.